as she fights through tears. They see our people as though they're animals. A student at Ukraine Catholic University in Lviv answers how the conflict with Russia changed her. It is just unhumane. And I have my mother in occupation. Behind the camera sits Bob Wood, a former high school social studies teacher from Kalamazoo. Some of these just blow you away. And they're so, um, ah, they're so heartfelt. He booked a trip to the country last September after he felt called to help those there. And I thought, I'm going to go to Ukraine to be of use. And so when anybody asked me, what are you going to do? I'm going to be of use. Without much of a plan, Wood assembled first aid kits and transported humanitarian goods during the initial part of his trip. Then he met an English professor from UCU. She said, well, you want to be of use? Take my class for two weeks. And I mean, that's like, come on, um, wow. Wood says between lessons. What do you like most about your country? Mm, you made me think a lot. He got an idea to ask students about life in Ukraine based off of questions from those stateside. Everyone agreed to participate. At the end of the day, I want to show Americans, Michiganders, people here, that Ukrainians are people like you and me, you know, and, and they've got a lot of courage and they've got a lot of pride in, and, and they're doing the best they can within the circumstances. His trip ended soon after, but left an impact. He plans to go back in February. UCU offered Wood a position in their English department. And while it may come with risks, he wants to show people there they don't need to fight alone. There is something about Ukraine. It's it, it, there's a real I don't know what you would call it. There's a lot of moxie. There's they they have grit. Now, in between his trips, Bob put on a series of presentations about those videos and other people he met in Ukraine, plus ways to help here in West Michigan. His final one is Monday at Sagatok Brew and Company from 6 to 7.30 p.m. You can find those details also on our website at fox17online.com. Reporting in the studio, Marisa Overly, Fox 17 News.